Hey everyone, welcome to this special video. Here I'm going to talk about a series that has happened throughout the 80s, but it's not a but it's not a cartoon series of the average kind. No, as a matter of fact, folks, this is a cartoon series that's totally different. Now, when now back in the early to mid 90s, you had CBS Story Break and ABC Weekend Specials. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there was some that competed against it throughout the 80s and early 90s that only was seen in syndication. And that was known, and that was known by the title Saturday Morning Superstar 10 or Superstar 10 or is it is affectionately known as Hanna Barbera's Superstar 10. And what was Superstar 10? Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. Ah, yes. Hanna Barbera's Superstar 10. Superstars 10. Debuted in the year 1987 and ran to 1988. And I'll tell you, folks, what a lineup of movies that it, it had. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are probably used to hearing superstar movies on Saturdays or Sundays. I'm pretty sure you have. But the truth is, Hanna Barbera's Superstars 10 was not your average one-hour uh, movie or one-hour special that you're used to seeing with ABC Weekend Special and CBS Story Break. No, these were actually two, these were actually television-wise, two hours worth of animation. These were two hour made for television animated films. No doubt about it. And the list is a is a almost a who's who of Hanna Barbera's iconic stars. Now the characters that got the most uh movies out of this Hanna Barbera Superstars Ten series series that ran from nineteen eighty seven to nineteen eighty eight are Yogi Bear and Scooby Doo. That's right. These two are the ones that got the most out of it. Now, of course, like I said, it's like I said, this is a who's who of Hanna Barbera. So Yogi and Scooby are not the only ones to have this privilege. No, no, no. They share it alongside a list of other Hanna Barbera characters. And here are the movies that they, along with the other Hanna Barbera characters, shared together. Yogi's Great Escape, the very, according to this, the very first one released by Hanna Barbera's Superstars 10 on television. The second one, one of the most talked about and one of the most famous crossover movies, Jetsons Meet the Flintstones. The third one, Scooby-Doo Meets the Boo Brothers. This, of course, as you would probably, if any of you have seen this film, would probably know, takes place after 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo series ends. The second movie, Yogi Bear and the Magical Flight of the Spruce Goose. This is one of Yogi Bear's all-star movies along with Great Escape. For it features Yogi, Boo Boo, Huckleberry Hound, Snagglepuss, Huckle Quick Draw McGraw, Augie Doggy, and Daddy Doggy, as well as the Baron. That's right. Baron and Muttley are in this as well. But then it's followed by this film. Top Cat and the Beverly Hills Cats. I told you this was a who's who. And Top Cat was given his own movie right after Yogi Bear and the Magical Flight of the Spruce Goose. Now these movies... Now these movies rounded out the 1987 se season. Now, of course, like I said, Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 ran from 1987 to 1988, which means those five movies aren't the end of it. No, sir. As a matter of fact, in 1988, five more movies were released on, in syndication to round out the Superstars 10 lineup. 
And like I said, it was a who's who's. Who's of Hanna Barbera cartoons? Who characters starring in their own feature length films? And again, like I said, Yogi and Boo Boo, I mean, Yogi and Scooby Doo, I should say, Yogi and Scooby Doo, had their share of them. But again, they shared it alongside a list of who's who. Now, of course, like I said, 1988 helped round out the Superstar 10 series. And again, of course, like I said, Yogi and Scooby Doo had their share of movies, but they also shared it alongside the others who's who's in Harlem Barbera's list. For example, the 1988 season started off with a Scooby Doo movie, Scooby Doo and the Ghoul School, which is one of his most famous uh, made for television films. That was followed by an, another popular film, but it's very obscured, unless you find a torrent on it, or maybe Mega Upload. And that is Rocking with Judy Jetson. This, of course, was the second movie to involve the Jetsons. As I mentioned earlier, The Jetsons Meet the Flintstones was released the year before. Rocking with Judy Jetson was released two years before the animated theatrical film and was, like I said, the second film um, in the Hanna-Barbera Superstar 10 series to involve the Jetsons. This, of course, was then followed by another Yogi Bear movie. This one was Yogi Bear and in the Invasion of the Space Bears. And quite honestly, this is one of my most personal favorite ones. Because it's not just an average all-star Yogi Bear film. No, it's a Yogi Bear film based at the time on the new Yogi Bear show. This, of course, means it only starred Ranger Smith, Yogi Bear, Boo Boo, and Cindy Bear. And again, it's per on a personal level, it's one of my personal favorites. This, of course, was followed by another huge favorite that has yet to re been released, that you could probably only find uh, through torrents or mega uploads or even eBay. And that is The Good, the Bad, and the Huckleberry Hound, which, of course, is a play, title wise, on the classic question The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. This, again, is another Hannibal Bear all star movie. This, of course, like I said, stars Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear and Boo Boo, Quick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, Aga Doggy and Daddy Doggy, I believe, Hokey Wolf, as well as the Dalton Brothers. It's a very good film, and it also introduces us to a new character, Desert Flower, who is a yellow female version of Huckleberry Hound. And then, of course, the 1988 season closed out out with Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Rare Wolf, which again is one of Scooby's most popular films and introduces us also to another new character, Cookie, who at the time in this movie was Shaggy's girlfriend. Now, of course, a lot of these films have been released late. Now, a lot of these films, mostly the ones with Yogi Bear and Scooby-Doo, have been released onto DVD in the past decade. Some have not yet really been, have not really seen the light of day yet at, when it comes to DVDs. Now most of the ones with Yogi and Scooby can be found through Amazon via the Warner Brothers Archive Collection or at the Warner Brothers online store. Again, the others like Good and the Bad and the Huckleberry Hound, Rockin' with Judy Jetson, Jetson, um, Top Cat and the Beverly Hills Cats. That's, those are the ones so far that have yet to see the light of day when it comes to Hanna Barbera uh, Superstar 10 movies being released on DVD. But the others have been. But the others have been, and the only question now is will those other three? Complete the tree. Complete the set. It's hard to say if movies like Top Cat and the Beverly Hills Cats, uh, Rocking with Judy Jetson, and The Good and the Bad and the Huckleberry Hound will ever see the light of day when it comes to DVD. But I will say this: the Superstar Tense series, when it was out, when it came out in the late '80s, was definitely 
Leon, this was definitely a great time to be a fan of Hanna Barbera animation. Because a lot of the animated films at the time were not just based on characters that already had animated series and recently appeared on television in other animated series, but they were also based on, at the time, current animated shows. Like I mentioned with Yogi and the Evasion of the Space Bears, which again is one of my personal favorites, it only starred Yogi Bear, Boo Boo, Cindy Bear, and Ranger Smith. Now, it did introduce another character, and I didn't mention this earlier, a love interest for Boo Boo called Snulu. But again, Yogi and the Invasion of the Space Bears was based on the new Yogi Bear show at that time. Just like Rockin' with Judy Jetson was based on the revitalized Jets on the revitalized newer 80s version of the Jetsons animated series, which also premiered in syndication as well. The one thing people can say about Hanna Barbera's Superstars 10 series is the fact that it's going to go down in history as the, probably the only other weekend uh, animated ser weekend series, series that was probably on par or not, if not surpassed the likes of ABC's Weekend Special and CBS Story Blank. Not just because of the fact that it had a longer list list of animated films they could do, but also due to the fact that its move that its specials or movies were about an, a little longer, about an hour or so longer than what you would see on the weekend specials and CBS Story Break. Now it's not to say that Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series was just limited by the 10 movies that they aired. No, because you see, as I said. In a way, they kind of surpassed as ABC's Weekend Special and CBS Stories Breaks by adding more to their uh, animated two-hour block that they had. For you see, in syndication, if memory serves me correctly, they did air, air other movies that have been seen theatrically. That is true. They, they, they showed other movies that were aired theatrically. Movies like Charlotte's Web, I believe, got a shot at that block. Hey There, Jogi Bear. The Man Called Flintstone. And a few others. They got that shot as well. They even, I believe, had Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood got a shot at that. But the thing is, it wasn't. But the thing is about Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 is they weren't just limited to the 10 movies that I mentioned. The movies that I mentioned as well also got that shot, as well as some of the original stories, like I said, like Charlotte's Web, which was based on the popular book, as well as a few other original, a few other stories. Like I think there was one on Gulliver's Travels. I believe. I think they had maybe. I think they had a few of the animated films that were based on the live action sitcoms that they helped make into animated sitcoms. Things like that. So it just shows you that Superstars 10, as far as my memory serves me right, wasn't just limited to the 10 movies I mentioned. 